In this tutorial in Photo Director 365, I'd like to take you on a walkthrough of the new interface adopted as of the fall of 2023. Much has changed and I'd like to show you how to navigate around this new interface. When you open the program, you're going to see this screen. It's basically called the launcher. It has some things I like and some things that frankly annoy me. We have the two areas where we can go in orange, which are organize and adjust and edit. And whichever one of these two that you pick, you can move into the other one once you're there. We'll show you that in a moment. And then the five boxes to the right are basically areas of new options that they want to highlight in promo. And that's basically what you see in the moving screen in the upper right corner. It's going through those five. And I assume that as the program evolves, those five will either change or be added to. But you can't add or remove these five dark brown areas. It's basically promoing what they consider to be the newest and greatest features of the program. That's not true with the gray boxes. These are called launcher shortcuts. And if I click on the lower right corner, I'm going to see this customize that allows me to take any of these that I don't want on this screen and remove them. I can't add any at the current moment, but I can take some away. Let's assume I don't think I'll be using this one much and I don't think I'll be using this one much. I uncheck them and click on the apply button and now they're gone. It's a little less noise in my launcher screen. To bring them back, I simply click customize again and I check the boxes and click on apply and they're back. So that's a way in which you can customize that part of the launcher screen. You notice you also have another option in the lower left corner that by default is checked. It says show launcher after closing program. That means that after I shut down the program, this screen will pop up again. To uncheck it, it won't. You just close the program and you're done. That's what I prefer to do. I'll show you how that works in a moment. But that's what that's about. So let's look at the two areas where you actually get into photo editing. Let's look at the organize and adjust. If I click on this, it will launch my screen. It starts out with the adjust, which is the one I chose here. That's my option on the left side. It will allow me, for example, to modify, see what's in my project, add, remove, and adjust the pictures I want to use in this particular project. The other thing I have here is the library. If I click on the library tab, this will allow me to tag photos, put them in albums. We have tutorials on these kinds of things. That's what I can do under the library and adjust. I did not go into the edit mode. If I want to go in the edit mode, how do I get back there? Well, there's two ways. I can simply close the program here if I have that launcher enabled and go back to edit. But there's an easier way to do that that's faster. I can be an organize and adjust and click on edit on the right side. Now I have two options in edit. I can edit in the guided mode or the expert mode and you can switch between the two. Let's take the guided mode and I'll click here. And now I can do some editing and you notice I have guided lit over here. But if I want to go expert mode, I can click here and that will give me my expert mode for editing. So these are your two options. Now if you want to go back to the other option, which is organize and adjust, again, you go to the upper right and click on that. And here again, you can go either to the adjust options or you can go to the library options. So you basically move across the top on the upper left and upper right to move between these screens. I will do most of my editing in the edit option and in the expert option, but you can choose whichever works best for you. We have tutorials on many of these features. That's a little bit about navigating. So when I'm done with the program, if I click on the X in the upper right corner, it will close it unless I have this box checked. Then that takes me back to the launcher. If I uncheck the box, let's get back into the program. And then I decide, no, oh, I'm done. I've done all the editing I want to do. I'll close it out and I'm back to a blank screen. I've closed the program. I'm back to my Windows environment. So that's a bit of a initial walkthrough of the interface. I hope it helps you understand some of your options as you begin to use this new 
iteration of Photo Director 365. 